In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this scrolling background using a shader. Let's create a new scene, call it main menu. I'm going to give it a texture rect to hold sort of this fake menu. And then I will give it a color rect to be the background. I'll make it the size of the screen and then give it a color. And then I'm also going to give it a texture rect and assign it the background pattern. I'll call this pattern, move it behind the texture rect, which I'll just rename fake menu, save and run this scene. Okay, so as you can see, we've got this sort of fake menu and we've got this background, but the background isn't moving. So that's where the shader is gonna come in. So I'll click pattern, go to the bottom right, click material, click into uh, new shader material, click on that, go to shader, new shader, name it something like scroll, click create, and then click into it to edit it. So for this shader, we aren't going to need fragment or light, we're just going to be using vertex. And what we're gonna be doing is moving the XUV, um, uh, increasing it by time, essentially and time is an ever increasing value. And this is going to sort of get the texture out of range, which is why you're not seeing anything here. But what you do is you click on the texture, you go over to the texture settings and you just enable repeat. And that's going to allow the UVs to loop. And right now it's moving pretty fast. So I'm just gonna multiply it by 0.1 to get a bit slower. And now if we run this scene, you can see that we do have a bit of scrolling, which is nice. Um, but we can improve this a little bit. So I'm gonna click on it again, and I'm just going to do the same thing, but in the Y direction as well. So now it's moving towards the top left. And I think I'm just going to create a variable that we can modify called speed. And I'm just going to move, uh, replace the 0.1s with the speed variable. And now that's gonna be exposed to the editor in the shader parameters. So we can do something like 0.2 if we want to speed it up or 0.05. I'm going to leave it at 0.1 and run the scene. So now we have this scrolling background. Um, so a lot of scrolling backgrounds don't actually take up the whole width of the screen. So I'm going to show you how to make the scrolling background using a smaller texture. So if we go into this pixel art editor, the, currently this texture is the whole width and height of the screen, but let's say you wanted to create a repeating background with just a subset or a smaller texture. I'm just gonna take this, copy it, open up a new sprite, paste it, and edit this a little bit. And let's say that the texture was smaller. I just wanna see how it tiles. Let's say we move this around doesn't have to be perfect um, but yeah i'm just going to export this and i'm going to call it repeating pattern and export head back into godot and let's replace the texture in the texture rect with this new repeating pattern so you'll see that it is repeating but it's it's getting stretched so just go to the stretch mode and change it to tile and that's just going to tile the texture and obviously I didn't pick the perfect snippet because there are scaps, but I hope you get the idea. Um, it might be a bit slower because it's a smaller sprite, but you can just change this to something like 0.2 and run the scene, and there you go. So that's a second way to get a repeating texture with using a smaller uh, texture for the background. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about, which is the sprites that I've been using are all sort of pixely, um, chunky, sharp pixel art. And if you don't see the sharpness in the actual sprites like you do here, if they appear blurry, you may have to go into the project settings and just adjust a texture setting. So if you go to the project settings under general, in under rendering, if you go to textures, there's going to be this default texture filter. And by default, it's set to linear. Just set that to nearest to make sure that you're getting these sort of sharp pixels. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is uh, how you make a repeating background using a simple shader trick. Um, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.